Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your ballet blonde, fancy dress. It's the 23rd annual Bay Street Theater Gala, and he's going to tell us all about this event tonight. Yes, um, it's our 23rd um, annual gala, and it's our biggest fundraiser of the year. As you know, we're a not-for-profit company and um, professional theater, but we have to raise 50% of our funds each year just to stay in business. So come out and share uh, some fun with our theater and our comedy club. And it's and an annual labor of love, isn't it? It certainly is, and it's a great night here in the Hamptons, and you should check us out next year. Tell my audience, where can we go to find out more information? What is the website? Well, longislandexchange.com. No, your I website, know, I'm though. Uh, Baystreet.org. Baystreet.org. Thank you, Sonia. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here in the Hamptons. Keep watching. Pink Champagne Kisses. I'm Cognac Wallalane, and I am here with this fabulous actress. She's the famous daughter of well-known, renowned actor Richard Burton and Sybil Christopher. And she is being honored this evening at the Bay Street Theater. Could you tell my audience about this award that you're receiving this evening? Uh, well, there are three of us uh, receiving the award this evening. Me and Sheldon Harnick, who's a brilliant uh, lyricist, and uh, April Gornick, a, a wonderful painter, and I'm an actress. And um, it's a, I guess it's a Lifetime Achievement Award, but I've done a lot of my work on this theater, on this stage, so it's very meaningful to me. And also Wonderful. my mother was the, one of the original founders of the festival, along with Emma Walton and Stephen Hamilton. I know that, and I had the pleasure of interviewing your mother four years ago you before did. she passed, and I'm so sorry to hear about that. But now you've done so much body of work, Grey's Anatomy, and you've been in so many plays and so many films. Mm -hmm. But you did do something with your father, and that was Ellis Island. Yes. And I did Ellis Island with my dad for CBS, and then I also did, um, I also did Alice in Wonderland on CBS. Do you? That was the only body of work that you've done with your father. With him. Yes. That was it. What was that like to work? With it was really wonderful to work with him as it was to work with my mom. And also I'm working with my son now who's an actor. Yeah. So His name is Morgan Ritchie and he's 26 and we just did a play together. We've done a couple of um, wonderful plays together. It's been great. You look so much like your mother. I do. Yes, I do. And that's a great compliment. Thank you. Yeah, she's so beautiful. Can you tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about you. Do you have a website? Do you have a Facebook page? I do not page? have a website, but I believe there's an IMDB kind of situation. We'll go on it, darling. And, uh, we'll go on it. 
to sell them. Uh, and uh, yeah, and so that's that's the way because I don't really do websites. I'm not a social media kind of person. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment, darling. Some more interviews coming up. Keep watching. Keep champagne kissing. We look at it and we say travesties, and Carr says at the end of Act One, it's a travesty of justice. And that's sort of the way we understand Plus, it. Though not actually from Limerick, he was a Dublin man, Joyce. Everyone knows that. Couldn't have written the book without. There was a young man from the sidewalk, sir. Oh, is there anything of interest? The New York Circus Zeitung and the Zurich Post announced, respectively, an important Allied and German victory, each side gaining ground after inflicting heavy casualties on the other, with little loss to itself. Ah, yes, the war. How I wish I could be back in the trenches with my comrades in arms. Wonderful spirit out there in the mud and wire. Brave days and fearful nights. Bliss it was to see the dawn. To be alive was very heaven. Never before in the whole history of human conflict has there been anything to match the courage, God's blood, the shot and shell, graveyard stench, oh Christ Jesu, deserted by simpletons. Joyce! <laughs> Up in the morning, James Joyce. I hope you'll allow me to voice. My regrets in advance for coming on the off chance, but Jesus, I haven't much choice. Alas, in fashionable society, genius is often regarded as an affront to the ordinary decencies of family life. Tristan! Oh! 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 oh. You don't mean that you couldn't love me if I didn't show your regard for Mr. Joyce as an artist. But you do. Uh, yes, I do. But I'll surprise her from that silly recumbent post. You can be sent in special train with reliable escort. Ah, oh, Bennett, tell me, is there anything in my correspondence that I might share with you and Mr. Tsara? Uh, the odds on Lenin have shortened somewhat, sir, but you can still get a hundred to one against. A hundred to one? A good teller of the league. Clara Zetkin, in her memoir, remembers him bursting out. Bosh and Nazi! T-Z-A-R-A! A Bolshevik, you say? Absolutely, Gwendolyn! You surprise me, Cecily! A Cecily! Of Miss Cobb! <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Cognac Elaine, and I'm here with Richard Kind, a very fabulous Broadway actor, and Thank he, you. he loves the theater so much. Tell my audience about the new production that you are appearing here at the Basement Well, we only have, we have one more week left, so come see it. Travesties, it is, right? Travesties. Did you see it? Uh, no, I haven't had the chance. I'm going to try to get there this week. No, you should. Yeah. Got one more week. Tell us about this play. It's a very difficult play to describe. It's a masterpiece. It's brilliant. It's not easy. It's dense. It's, it's smart. It's a tough evening in the theater, but it is fun. It's a tough play to understand, but once you see it, you'll get it. It's like it's it will wash over you. It's a it's it's a masterpiece that is not to everybody's taste. Tell my audience why you love the Bay Street Theater so much. Oh, I love I I you guys better not lose this theater. This theater is it gives class to the town. It doesn't just do Hello Dolly or or the, the the light musicals, but it's it's an opportunity to come and expand your world in a in the most positive way. It's not pablum. It's you will grow as a human being, and I think if you don't do that day after day, I think that your life is a waste. And this just helps facilitate growing that way. Where can we go to support? Where can we go to contribute? Where can we go to participate? What Send is money to me. I don't, yeah, me tell that. my audience the website. Bay Street, I don't know the website. BayStreetTheater.org. You tell them. You know it. BayStreetTheater.org. How your, would I know it? What's I, your website? I'm working for free here just about. What's I, your website? I don't have a Facebook? website. No, I don't do any of it. I love you. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here at the Bay Street Theater. Keep watching. More interviews in the Hamptons. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the Cognac Show. dress. 
just to impress. Son of a kang. It's been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.